The second most common cause of death and disability adjusted life years, that is the impact it has on a person's health, is COPD. It's second only to heart disease, which everyone knows about. But nobody knows about COPD, or very few people do, except the sufferers. COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It causes cough associated with sputum production and breathlessness. Why do people get COPD? It's because they inhale harmful substances. And the most important harmful substance that people inhale across the world, in short, the most common cause of COPD, is tobacco smoking. The greater the amount of smoking, the greater is the risk of COPD. COPD tends to progress. Even if a person has quit smoking, it tends to progress. It progresses faster in people who continue to smoke, slows down in people who quit smoking, but never comes back to normal. It also can occur when people are inhaling harmful substances in the course of their work. So occupational exposure to smoke is equally harmful. And if a person smokes and has occupational exposure to harmful substances which they inhale, it further increases the risk of COPD. How does a person with COPD come to us? They come to us with cough, producing sputum when they cough, and more importantly, they start to become breathless. So each of us takes breathing for granted. Until you really think about it, you don't really feel you are breathing. It's such an automatic, unconscious act. But when a person with COPD has to fight for every breath, then they really realize the importance of breathing and the importance of oxygen in their lives. How do we treat COPD? What we do is, most importantly, we get them to stop smoking or quit their exposure to other harmful substances. The second thing we do is we give them bronchodilators, which are used in inhaled form rather than as tablets or injections. Inhalers carry these substances that open up the airways which are narrowed directly into the lungs and so they work quickly and effectively. The third thing we do is we give them vaccines to prevent lung infections because lung infections are what are called infective exacerbations cause as much damage as smoking. So we try and prevent these infections by giving a person vaccines. The fourth, we encourage people to exercise. And what do they exercise? They exercise the whole body. Of course, breathing exercises are important, but it's equally important to exercise other parts of the body. Last of all, we look for other problems because COPD typically doesn't exist as a lung problem alone. It's usually associated, typically because they've smoked, with other smoking related disorders. So we look for heart disease, we look for evidence of strokes and other brain problems, we look for evidence of cancer of the lung and of other organs. So we screen them and we continue to screen them while we are looking after them during the course of their life for other problems. So these, this is how we look at COPD, how we manage COPD. But please remember that it starts, it starts with tobacco use, it starts with smoking. And so the most important thing is don't smoke, don't start smoking. And if unfortunately you are smoking, please ensure that you quit and quit as quickly as possible. There is no lower safety limit for cigarettes. Even one cigarette a day is harmful. Please keep this in mind. And if you don't smoke, you have friends who smoke, please encourage them to quit smoking as soon as possible. Thank you.